Alrighty then, this is my third time attempting to record this, and as a result of which, uh, I have decided to not really bother to try to get the platoon requirement. Look at the four of them here. I think someone is shrieking outside, that's interesting. But not shrieking in like a, oh my god, I'm being attacked way. Shrieking like, I am a howler monkey wanting attention way. Anyway, uh, impressiveness, to force the land, win the land, we'll do all those in a bit, uh, but leveling up a platoon to regular skill gets us 4,000 to tribute, which I gotta wonder if it's really worth it. Uh, we've just recently killed off this middle platoon with our archers, and as you can see, the Norse are sending a replacement platoon to fill in. Once they arrive, we'll, we'll continue to just the farm them. The Aztecs will rule this world. While we're waiting, there's some fun things that we can do. Not the first of which is this. Help us! We need to finish our special brew! Throw this barrel to my brother over there so he can add his ingredient! Then throw it to my other brother on the next island! It needs to go to them all in turn until our brew is finished! Hey! The ocean is brewing, this is ocean, got barrels here on the sand. Will you help me throw it to my brother on the other land? Hey! Hey! You gotta love Norse drinking songs. This is good old, this is like, this is like the good old boys of the Middle Ages, I mean. Will be red with Greek blood. I will rip your face off. So basically, you grab this barrel, and throw it! Over to the next island. Well, that's actually a pretty good throw. That's it. Yeah, it was a hole in one. It was right where I wanted to be. Right where I needed to be. And we get the next verse of our Norse drinking song. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, I'm in a much better mood now than I was earlier. This is great. Thick and thicker, my brother's wanting it now. Could you throw it over? I really don't care how. Hey! Oh, yeah. Look at the piles of brew there. It's just so much fun. Now this next one's a little bit uh, tricky, actually. You gotta watch what you're doing, because you want to get it all the way over there. So if you want to, you can just go balls to the wall crazy and see if you can throw it in one toss, which I... Oh, I was so close to. Too bad. Yeah, right in the ocean. And it'll zoom you back to where the barrel was. So you can try it again if you want. Whoa, balls to the wall crazy. Just throw it like a madman. Actually, wow, that was... Not a bad throw at all. I'm like a I'm up like a putt away from where I need to be, so this is great. You can just pick it up and move it inside this ring, so I'm just gonna toss it right there. <laughs> nice! Got it in two shots. Well, one miss and then two shots to get there. Ah, the third out of four. Think snappy! It really hits the spot! Hurl it to my brother using all the strength you've got! Hey! Yeah, this is one of the funnest and most memorable quests uh, early in this game. This little side task like this. This is just fun. I mean, something about this little diversion is quite pleasant. Oh, that was too hard, wasn't it? Oh, no, that was actually pretty good. Maybe it'll roll down to where it needs to be. It has a lot of inertia, so it'll tend to stop much more quickly than a real barrel actually would. Just gonna kind of gently toss it forward a little bit. So we're gonna just kind of move it to right over there. So I'll c mostly just walk it there, honestly. Once you're on the same island, you can just do it step by step like that until you get it where you need it to be. That's four out of four. Praise be! The brew is finished. Let's drink it, lads. But first, a tribute to our benefactor. Not sure why the screen's black there, but it did the same thing last time. So I suppose it's supposed to happen. And, uh, disappointingly, we don't get a fourth verse. We do get a refrain, and like an instrumental refrain on the chorus here. Hey! Hey! What fun. <laughs> Gandalf, they're spinning around. Oh, go crazy, yeah, have fun. Okay, guys, y'all have fun with that. Well done, leader. You did it. <laughs> well done, you helped the Norse get wasted. Here's some tribute. Aztecs rule this godless world while the Greeks still exist. Alright, well that platoon's ready to come in here and get squished, so let's open up the gate for him. 
hopefully we can farm these guys up to the skill level that they need. Uh, this is basically all I'm going to do for a while, is just farm on these platoons, so... If... I don't think that you guys really would want to see that. Uh, it's kind of slow. Hey guys, the gate's open. Come in here and try to take over my town. Hey! 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 I'll poke you! I'll poke you! I'll poke you! I'll touch you! I'm gonna touch you! I'm gonna touch you! <laughs> okay, seriously? Why aren't they coming? Ah, uh, here they go. So let's demonstrate the technique here if I haven't already done this. Nope, nope, not you. Nope, go over here. Shit! Get in here. Get in here. Stay away from the platoon, you dumb thing. I don't want him getting killed. Her going out and being crazy. So they'll get crossfire gun on these guys and you close the door. Dang it, hopefully before the creature gets there. Generally that's what you want, but whatever. Uh, yeah. Ooh, they didn't get any experience from that. Possibly because it was stolen by the other platoon or the creature. Let's move the... Oh crap, there's another platoon coming. Come on. Move back. Move back. Move back. Get inside. Get inside. Get inside. Yeah, stay in there, please. Alright, now that the gate's open, they're coming for us. We're gonna need to close it again before they get in. But with it, we basically have a killing field going on down there. There's not a whole lot they can do to stop us. So we'll just close the gate, and they'll run off. But, like I say, we're getting experience killing them, so... They should be close to leveling up again. As soon as the gate's closed, we're gonna go ahead and open them right back up, so... Oh yeah, here, you can... You can keep working out, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to stop you. Ugh, where's the leash? Come here, please. Just send him back to the back of the city so he doesn't get too involved in these fights. Oh, they're not coming back, huh? Men, call to arms. The Greeks are coming. Another fun thing you can do is pick up the little dead bodies out here. You can actually move these around if they're inside your influence ring. So let's see, where's that platoon? Whoop! Just hurl the corpses out there. Yeah, have fun marching over that landscape on the way to fight us. Alright. Let's get serious. Yeah, they're not coming down to come after us just yet, are they? So, it's a safe opportunity for us to merge the two patrols. We're basically going to take the uh, weaker units and merge them together with the stronger units, and the stronger units will sort of train up the newbies to show them the ropes, you know? Resulting in a larger platoon that has the experience level of the uh, stronger of the two. So it works out quite nicely. Just watching my my ass here so they don't come in and get me. Oh, wait, not move. No, I wanted you to merge. Merge! There you go. And now we have one larger platoon. And they gain the skill level of the uh, larger the more skilled of the two, basically. Alright, attack! We'll send them after that platoon there, because it's weaker. There should be... Yeah, there's reinforcements coming, so we'll have to get them involved eventually, but hopefully our platoon can handle this. Uh, if they get screwed up, I may have to retreat to this within the influence ring. But we should be able to take this platoon out and then back up a little bit here. There you go, use your arrows. Come on, hit him! Hit him! Good. Alright, now we're going to back up just a bit, because if we get too caught up with these guys, we're going to get killed, because that other platoon's going to come in and take us out. So what we're going to do is get back on the wall. Now that we've drawn them in, it shouldn't be hard to kill them. So go ahead and get up there. And they somehow just run right through the wall in order to get to the gatehouse they need to be in, so whatever. And they should get in position just in time to start shooting at these guys. There you go. Works out wonderfully, doesn't it? And of course we slam the gate shut before they have a chance to get inside. And maybe if they're quick they can yeah, finish off the whole platoon. Nicely done, guys. That other patrol is just sort of standing there like the thumbs of their asses, so... We'll continue doing this for a while. It's not... Actually, this might be a good way to explain micromanagement tactics to you guys, where you basically want to handle your soldiers one unit at a time. And throw the corpses at them. Ooh, I actually hit one of them. Yeah, I hit that guy with a corpse. Ah, eh, nice. Didn't do anything to him, but still. Okay, they don't seem to want to come into our town. Well, screw you guys then. I'll throw a rock at you. After that... Huh, after that golf minigame... Oh, 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 oh! Oh, that's so close! After that golf minigame, I should be able to hit them, right? Harder than it sounds. 
honestly. Even when they're that close. Come here, you. Whoo! No. A little bit farther. Hey, there we go. Took out one of them. Look at his ass. Ah! <laughs> Probably not gonna get my rock back, though, which is okay. So you gotta tell him to get off the wall. And then you can tell him to come outside. So I don't think they're gonna want to drop off the wall and go outside immediately. Now, this might incur an attack from them, so... This could get dangerous. Alright. Forward march, boys. Sometimes when they're in the middle of an animation, you'll have to tell them a few times. Alright, start firing your arrows, guys. Ooh, wow, you killed one guy. You guys are really effective. Oh, I killed a few when they got closer there. And now they're going to be forced to kind of break ranks to take these guys on with their swords. Let's watch and see if there are any other platoons on the way. There aren't. Creature's trying to get outside. i got to close the gate. And they're sending more platoons from up there, but we'll, we'll be fine. We'll finish these guys off by the time they get here. And then hopefully we'll have gone up a level since we, we really should have gotten one by now. That one's taking so long. Come on. Kill. Kill them. There we go. Attack. I don't know. If, were they just standing there that whole time? That's kind of kind of lame. But yeah, their reinforcements are not going to make it in time. Come on, finish them off. There you go. They leveled up. Back on the wall, boys. Good work. Good work. All right, we need to reinforce them. So, let's make a larger platoon. 110 men. You know it. Now, I noticed last time around there's a bunch of people stuck back here behind the storehouse. I guess when I built it, there were people over here, and they weren't able to get back. Although, why they were all standing over there behind the storehouse is beyond me, but... Anyway, they're all going to come out here, and a lot of them, I think, are going to become... Uh, soldiers, since they're men without jobs. But, we'll go ahead and put all those guys down there. And we'll continue to wait for more platoons to arrive, and to level up our platoon. There's one other thing we can do in the meantime... Or, meanwhile, in the meantime? Does that actually make sense? is go down here to the other side of the island. There's another silver scroll. Hey, I bet there's a ton of secrets waiting to be found here. Ha, <laughs> you know Why it. Why don't you click on the tombstones and see what happens? So if you hover over one, you'll get an age. And, or basically the year they died. And you want to click on them in the year, in the orders see that they that? died. This one lit up. Maybe we need to click them in some order to light them all. Hmm. Basically, a star shape starting from the bottom left. The Aztecs want to rule. They need the Greeks destroyed. You're not gonna destroy me with these guys on my side. Check this shit out. Oh yeah, you know it. An undead army. Is this some Pirates of the Caribbean bullshit or what? I'm loving it. Dang, that guy's intense. Undead Norse army. Pretty freaking awesome if I do say so myself, so. And I do say so myself, so. Whoa! Our own undead legion! <laughs> we can wreak havoc with these guys! Oh, you know it. They have... An impressive army. Check out how powerful they are, too. Watch this. Uh, yeah, like, full quality melee. And anybody, any Greeks that you merge into their platoon will also rank up to full quality melee. You know, by the, the laws we've already learned about merging ago, platoons oh together. Are they getting off on the other side of the wall? Well, they shouldn't. Shoot. I want them in here. That could be bad. Ready to go. Um, well, it doesn't look like we're going to incur an attack, so... Let's go ahead and bring him in as soon as the gates are all the way open. Yeah, I think they're going to they're gonna want to get off the wall on the side from which they got on. Does that make sense? Anyway, we're going to go ahead and merge these two platoons here. Put the weaker one into the stronger one, as we should, so that we can maintain our strength ability. We've got trainee guys now, so we're doing all right, to be honest. There you go, come inside, please. We're going to close the gate now. So we have time to go over here and get on the wall! Get up there! 
quite a number of troops in that platoon now. How many do we have there? Let's see if I can't get it to pop up. 197 or something like that? That's quite a few. 159 out of 174. Okay. Again, pretty good. Alright, open that gate up. Let's lure in some more patrols. We're basically going to continue like this until I uh, get there. There's a silver, there's a bronze scroll over here that I suppose I should show. Go ahead and click on that. If you want your town to grow quickly, it'll need lots of food. Yeah. Our creature can help with this by gathering crops. All you have to do is assign him the role of gatherer near a field. To assign the creature a role, open the Creature Roles interface. Select the green Gatherer Role button. This changes the creature's role and puts the leash in your hand. We're taking damage! Are we now? The Greeks want to fight! Excellent! Now just double-click the action button where you want the creature to perform the role. And a thousand free gold. See the radius around the flag? The creature will gather resources from within that. He'll always carry out rolls inside the radius. He'll then put them in your storehouse. At the moment, your creature isn't a very good collector. He's not gathering much grain each time. This is because he's a level one gatherer. That's lame. You can improve his performance in rolls by spending tribute. That way, he'll get much more efficient. Clever, eh? Your creature can also be a warrior. Come on, pick him off. Builder, finish him off. Entertainer to keep the people oh, I'll finish that guy off, seriously. Builder creatures help with the destruction of anything in the town. Yeah, being a warrior will make him serve as an army unit. A creature is still small, and he's not a skilled warrior. You can use tribute to upgrade oh, he his moved. warrior <laughs> role, and he'll get way more <laughs> Oh, get him, get him. Oh, it was uh, close. Yes, or you can simply leave him in free will mode. Which is what we're gonna do. He'll do whatever he wants and whatever you've taught him. The last thing you need to know about rolls is that they affect your creature's free will. <laughs> Got him. Yes, Good stuff. The longer he remains in a roll, the less free will he'll have. Leave him in a I'm gonna touch you. I'm gonna touch you. I'm gonna touch you. I'm gonna touch you. More like a machine than a pet. <sighs> Using him in rolls for a while is fine. Come on, now. And you can see how much free will he has by looking at this bar and the creature interface. Yeah, the glowing one down there. Onwards. To remove your creature from a roll, click on the free will button. <laughs> now, wow. why not play around with rolls and stuff, boss? See if you can get a bigger town out of it. And remember, if you get attacked, make him a warrior. To recruit an army to send against their puny forces. Okay, I guess that's not a bad strategy. Recruiting an army to send against my enormous army of archers. 150. Let's see how many arrows it takes to kill these guys. <laughs> Nicely done, guys. Got them! Before they even touched us. Now it's just a matter of taking these guys out in the same way. We should be able to get the drop on them, but it looks like they already know where we are, so we might only take out half of their patrol before they get to us. And the trees are a non-issue, so don't worry about that. And we're going to go ahead and go into just like melee mode here. Even though our archers aren't very efficient at it, they can... They can take out enemy soldiers if they outnumber them in a significant way, so... That's one way to do things. Oh, shoot, the creature's out there. Dude, would you stay inside the walls, please? I swear, it's like a giant pen for that guy, and he just keeps getting out. He wasn't doing much, did he? He walked over and looked at the battle and then walked away. That number of enemy, one. Seriously, take him out. Get him. Get him. Get him. There you go. Good stuff. Now, uh... Yeah, go over here. Start taking over towns. The Greeks to pay for what they have done. Taking over towns is a good way to raise your platoon's uh, skill. So we're going to send them around and take over the, some of these towns. And I suppose I'm going to finally shut up and start cutting things out here. So once I accept this migration, we'll uh, go ahead and start. A migration is waiting at our borders for you to accept them. Do -do -do. Focusing on our patrol. That's moving around. And we'll keep the gate closed from then on. 
Did I ever actually explain what the upper left-hand corner says? I don't think I did, but anyway, it's the the Norse were fighting, and it tells you the number of civilians and the number of soldiers, so 183 out of 95. I don't know if that number of civilians counts as soldiers as well. It might, it might be the total number of people. Not completely sure, but... Anyway, it lets you kind of know what, you're, what they're standing at, and the, the amount of soldiers, the number of soldiers they have is a lot more important. With our 150 guys, we're going to take over towns fairly quickly, so... Wouldn't even worry about that going on. And once these three platoons have set themselves up again, we're going to go into battle with them once more.